Hey guys, it's Zach here, and today we're going to be checking out Arrow Video's limited edition release of Dementor, a 2019 horror film from the mind of Chad Crawford Kinkle, who some of you may recognize as the creator of another horror film, Jugface. Having originally made its way around a couple film festivals, Dementor is a surreal slow burn that will definitely turn most away, but appeal highly to a niche crowd, so it's no surprise that Arrow has picked it up for a physical release. But before we get into our Blu-ray and all its bonuses, Let's talk a bit about the story. The film opens with what can only be described as a mesh of creepy visuals, nightmare garble, and contrastingly bright opening credits, written and drawn in crayon. Kinkle sets our scene for Dementor in an ordinary American suburb, following our main character, Katie. Though we don't get much information on her past, it's intentionally kept secret, conveyed through dreamlike sequences sprinkled throughout the film. For now, all we know is that she's looking for a job where she can feel good about helping others and contributing to the community. Katie is quickly picked up by a local assisted living company, joining a team that aids in caring for and accompanying elderly patients with mental disabilities. We're introduced to the other caretakers, as well as a cast of community members, including our supporting character, Stephanie, played by the director's sister of the same name. Katie takes the job with ease, quickly becoming a great friend and helper around the homes. However, just as she's getting settled, migraines start to spike and she begins to experience bouts of nausea, accompanied by wispy voices and hellish visions. It's implied that Katie has some sort of strange and possibly demented relationship with this man from the past, and as the film progresses, we see her constantly flipping through a small book she keeps on her, reading over notes passed down from the man in her visions, now deemed memories. Though there isn't much information for us as the audience, we watch in bewilderment as she starts performing bizarre acts and even rituals, constantly obsessing over her patient Stephanie day and night, worried about Stephanie's health and safety to the detriment of her own. I won't go too much further into the actual events that take place, but if you're a fan of cryptic storylines and dreamlike horror that doesn't rely on what it shows to scare you, but rather what it forces you to imagine, then this film might be up your alley. I would liken it to a low-budget film within the sort of surreal slow burn genre that's been gaining a lot of attention lately, with films such as The Witch, Hereditary, or Midsummer. Not to say it stacks up against those critically, but if you're like me and you appreciate horror films that disturb by feeding into your own imagination, then Dementor is at least worth checking out. I enjoyed it for what it is, and I think it deserves any attention it can get. For now, let's go check out Arrow Video's release of the film. They packed in an awesome amount of bonuses. So without further stalling, let's go unbox our release. Here we are now with our limited edition physical copy of Dementor from Arrow Video. It comes in a standard slipcover, featuring a creepy silhouette on the front and all of our release information on the back. Underneath, we have our matching case and inside we get two discs. The first is our main feature, Dementor, and the second one here actually features Jugface, the debut film of our director, Chad Crawford Kinkle. I'm so stoked to have both films together, as I haven't had the chance to watch Jugface yet, and this will be the perfect opportunity. Alongside the two discs, we also get a fold-out poster and a booklet. The poster is double-sided, featuring Dementor on one side, and Jugface on the reverse. The booklet contains an article by Chris Halleck, titled Sacrificial Lambs, Disability, Otherness, and the Occult Terror of Dementor. Halleck discusses various points on Dementor, from story beats and scene analysis to representation of those with disabilities in the film industry. A quick read to follow the film. Finally, the sleeve for our Blu-ray case is reversible, featuring the original poster work for Dementor on the opposing side. With that, however, we've covered the physical aspect of our release, so let's head on over and check out what's included on the discs. Dementor is presented here in 2K, with original 5.1 and 2.1 audio tracks. On top of that, Arrow includes two brand new commentary tracks to listen to as well. The first features director and writer Chad Crawford Kinkle, actress Katie Groshong, and cinematographer Jeff Wedding. I actually really enjoyed the trio's commentary, as it almost acts like a split documentary. As the film rolls, they discuss the making of Dementor as a movie, as well as showing what day-to-day -day life is like for mentally disabled seniors living in such communities. The community feature in the film is entirely real, and is home to director Chad's sister, Stephanie, who's featured heavily in the movie. Through Dementor, Kinkle is able to tell a great story while also giving insight to a part of his life many may not understand, a heartwarming passion project for sure. Our second commentary track features director Chad Crawford Kinkle again, this time alongside critic Chris Halleck. I like how this commentary track contrasts with the last one, making them two very different experiences, but entertaining listens nonetheless. Halleck and Kinkle watch Dementor from a critical and filmmaking view, 
Together, they analyze and discuss each scene, posing questions and picking each other's brains for a commentary track that will certainly interest those who enjoy the academic and technical sides of filmmaking. With the audio supplements aside, we can move into the bonus videos included on Dementor's disc. We get a collection of three featurettes, totaling at about 90 minutes long altogether. Starting with a banger, we have our first one, The Making of Dementor. This is a 24-minute mini-doc featuring the director himself as he discusses the origins of Dementor and how the initial idea grew and grew, eventually gaining approval and becoming a project so much more personal to Kinkle than any standard film production. Alongside him, we have cinematographer Jeff Wedding and actress Katie Groshong joining in as well, sharing stories of the production from their viewpoints. Overall, a fantastic insight into Dementor as a production and as a passion project. Moving into our second featurette, we have an 18-minute interview with actor Larry Fessenden, who plays the cryptic cult master in the film's visions from the past and voices the whispers so prevalent in the sound mixing of Dementor. His interview isn't as interesting as the making of featurette, since it only involves himself. Fessenden's stories only go so far to draw interest, and I found myself checking the clock as the interview droned on. This is probably one for hardcore fans of Kinkle and Fessenden's work together specifically, things like Dementor and Jugface. Our third and final featurette on our release is titled Outsider Art and Dementor, with Larry Fessenden, Lucky McGee, and Chad Crawford Kinkle. This is a 46-minute virtual conversation between our three hosts, as they discuss various topics within the art of independent filmmaking. From festival circuits to genre writing, the passion and experience shared in this video is real, a great testament to Kinkle's drive to explore and expand his filmmaking journey. Overall, these three featurettes are like a bookmark in his journey as an independent writer and director, a heartwarming set of bonuses for those interested in following his career. And if you find that you are, then the next group of supplements is sure to delight. After watching the featurettes, Arrow includes a collection of three videos containing short films from Kinkle's early career and studies. Running from 1992 to 1998, these shorts of varying quality are once again nice inclusions for fans of the creator, otherwise it's nothing terribly intriguing. With that, however, we can round out a review of Dementor, with a look at the final inclusions, an original trailer for the film, as well as an image gallery containing 27 stills and photographs. Though this completes the content on this disc, the limited edition release of Dementor from Arrow includes a second disc, furthering the dive into Kinkle's filmography. The bonus disc features his 2013 horror film Jugface, as well as its own collection of bonus content to look at. If you're interested in a full review for Arrow's release of Jugface and its included bonus content, let me know down below in the comments. I enjoyed Dementor and certainly will be looking forward to watching Jugface on my own. For now, I want to thank you as always for joining me here on Pajama Theater. Like this video and subscribe to my channel, and stick around for more Arrow video and other boutique label reviews. Until then, take care and I'll see you guys next time.